there's a there's a wide gap between what the constitution says our human rights are but looking at the high levels of murder rate and and interpersonal violence on lgbti persons is quite staggering so there's kind of a big gap between what we say we want to be as a country and what we are in reality Greetings to the Commander in Chief, the CIC, Julia Solomalema, the officials of the EFF, everyone who votes for the EFF, the ground forces, Africans in particular, and everyone in diaspora. My name is Lorato Florence Tito. I'm a member of the Central Command Team. I'm also serving in the National Parliament of South Africa. The EFF is against the oppression of anyone based on their gender and sexuality. We oppose any cultural or religious practices that promote the oppression of anyone, especially groups that have been historically judged or oppressed by such practices. We hear or listen to people talk about the LGBTQIA plus community, but do we know exactly what it means? Today, I'm going to explain what it means. The L in the LGBTQIA+, the L stands for lesbian, the G stands for the gay, the B stands for the bisexual, the T stands for the transgender, the Q stands for the queer, the I stands for the intersex, and the A for the asexual. The plus is continuous because of the community is vast and endless. Today we are here in the Northern Cape we are going to talk to Lauren Daniels. Lauren is a lesbian. She's here with us. She's going to explain her story to us. Welcome, Lauren, to our interview. Can you tell us a bit about yourself, about your background, about your family, how you grew up, and all of those things? Thanks, Lata. Thanks again for the question. Uh, greetings, everyone. Um, my name is Lauren Daniels. I was born in the Northern Cape, uh, where I later on moved to Johannesburg to go live with my uh, mother because she was working that time. Um, I am the oldest of two children on my mom's side. Uh, may I soul rest in peace, she's no more. Uh, I work in Johannesburg, uh, I live there now, uh, that's where my life is right now. And I identify myself as a lesbian in the LGBTQ plus community. Okay, Lauren. Lauren, uh, as you are saying that you are a lesbian and then you identify yourself as one, uh, how was your upbringing in the family and then how, when did your family find out uh, that you are a lesbian and then how did they take you in now, especially your mother from your mother's side? How, did you, how was your mother's uh, reaction? In, in that now, you now informing her, especially you now as the eldest daughter in the family? Okay, thanks for the question. Uh, well, I, I did not come out to my mother. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I, 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 I did not get a chance to come out. I feel like I was robbed of my chance of coming out to her because um, I've always had guy friends. Okay. Uh, my upbringing, I was around guys, you understand? Mm. And um, my cousin, I've got a, a guy cousin, he knew, and my sister, the, sister my, the one that's after me, they knew kinda that I was, I was different from all of them. They knew that I, 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 I was lesbian from, from, from a young age. Mm -hmm. And I, I had to fight to be accepted in the family. It was much more easier um, because at least my cousins knew yes. that I was I was I was, I was lesbian. Mm -hmm. But when it came to the elder people like my mom, my aunt, my granny, uh, my dad, um, it was it was a bit difficult because those were the people that were family. Uh, um, yeah, it, it was difficult. I, I I had to fight. I had to fight to be accepted. I was. I was almost, I can say, disowned from my old mother. Okay. She used to, like, yo, you know, the verbal abuse. Mm -hmm. It was, it was, it was more painful because, you know, when you hear that, 
your mom it's say it's that you know i wish you wish you had died i wish i hadn't given birth to to, to, to you mom. because mm. of my sexuality at that okay. time okay. and even the influence that she was getting from the community you know mm. her friends as well you know influencing her to say i how can you child be lesbian you shouldn't accept it you mm. understand in relation to the study yes i, I believe that um a lot of uh, social attitudes, be they influenced by culture or be they influenced uh, by religious beliefs, um, um, really kind of influence the way society thinks about the LGBTI community or broader other um, uh, kind of cues around gender, be it even around um, identities around women. But I do believe that homophobia and transphobia in particular is largely um, within society influenced by uh, cultural codes and religious codes. Um, and often people can perpetuate fear um, based on, on, on homophobia and transphobia because one day could not have enough information or so are kind of influenced by what um, churches inform them or other religious groups inform them. So I think the number is staggering, it is high. I do think the, the, the main issue around, um, you know, it's fine to have a belief that is different, or, uh, but I think when that belief uh, becomes an action, as in I've now translated my belief into hate, and I've now translated my belief into violence, um, is largely where we see uh, the impact of what beliefs have with, on the LGBTI persons. So we know that South Africa, um, this very beautiful constitution that we have um, to protect our rights have certainly not been translated in relation to the kind of actions uh, that we want. So there's a, there's a, there's a wide gap between what the constitution says our human rights are but looking at the high levels of murder rate and, and interpersonal violence on LGBT persons is quite staggering. So there's kind of a big gap between what we say we want to be as a country and what we are in reality. But I was persistent. Um, I knew that I needed to give them time to also accept me, you understand? Yes. I mean. It was hard. It was hard for them to accept it because yes, they grew yes. up in an era where, you know, this thing it was taboo. You yes, know, yes, yes. But eventually, they they warmed up to the situation because mm -hmm. then they saw my girlfriends. You know, at that time, mm -hmm. um, then stories like uh, uh, your intersection. You know, then they started seeing stories where lesbian plays, yes, gay yes. people play on mm -hmm. the TV, mm -hmm. then they started warming up, they started asking me questions mm -hmm. and as difficult it was I had to explain, to educate them as well. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, my mom, just as she accepted me, she, she, she passed on. My aunt as well, just as she accepted my sexuality, she passed on. But I'm, 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 I'm glad because she knew who I was, I'm glad. When she passed on, she accepted me. That gave me a, a, a relief that, you know what, now my mom actually knew that I was like this. And I'm happy that she had a, a change of heart, you understand. And I'm, and I'm glad I pushed until she accepted me. Okay. And then uh, in terms of, uh, I'm going to ask you now a personal uh, question. You are only talking about your mom and your family. Now, what about a father figure? Do you have a father right now because of... You are saying that your mom, your, 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 your mom passed or do you have a father right now? Thanks for the question, Lato. Um, mm. I, I have a father, but I did not have a father figure in my life. Okay. So mm. I got a father by the name. He never played a, a role in my life. In your life? He, he never. Whether he was in my life or not, it was not going to change the person that I am, you know? So I don't have much to say about my dad. I had to keep it that way. Okay. Um, but I, I, I don't have a father figure. I don't. So mean, meaning that even when you grew up, you, you did have a father, but he was not there for you in terms of supporting and, and everything. So in your family name, wisely, because of some, sometimes they will say that maybe a girl not having a father figure, that is why you have changed. You didn't yes. Those, those sort of things that hacking maybe 
because of you don't have a father now that is why you are now a lesbian and all of those things well i never had issues i never came across mm, such questions, such, okay, such, okay, such okay, questions okay, you okay, understand okay. but as, as, as i stated that Lagato, whether he was in my life or he was not in my life it was not going to change the fact that i'm lesbian okay. you understand and then now in in, in in school, like even now, right now, I don't know, Hakim, um, do you have my drink or, 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 or maybe right now you are studying further or you are working? What is happening right now currently in your life? Okay, currently, um, I work for Virgin Active okay. uh, in Johannesburg, I'm a fitness instructor. I am personal trainer qualified. So yeah, I work there as a, as a fitness instructor currently. So there, there by your workplace, everyone is accepted the way you are and then you don't have any issues maybe with people coming in for training and all of those things. Well, um, I love the company that I'm working at because they don't stand against uh, any discrimination against gender. Okay. Yes. So that's why I love working for Virgin Active. But when it comes to my colleagues and, 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 and other people in the gym, I guess they don't have a choice but to tolerate me, yes, you understand? Yes, they don't have a choice yes. because they know what Virgin X stands for and just to be civil, you understand? So I, 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 I think they just tolerate me and because I'm there, there's nothing that they can do. I mean, if you want me to assist you, you have to be civil with me, you see? So, yeah, I, I guess they just tolerate me as well. Okay, and then in the community, in a way, you ever maybe harassed because of your sexuality maybe someone maybe harassing you saying that no man you can't be a lesbian when you are a woman and then maybe someone maybe wanting to assault you in terms of rape and everything and then you know most there is that taboo that if you are a lesbian and, and men they want to rape you and then they will then and then they will say that you will change immediately you will know that you are a woman well um as a woman in South Africa, let me mm. state that mm. we will always be harassed. Okay. I still get harassed each and every day of my life. I get men that always tell me it's because you haven't slept with a man, that's why you like this. Mm. Um, I get threats, you know. Uh, it's, it's, it's a curse to be a woman in South Africa. It's a curse to be lesbian in South Africa. Even though we've got the rights, I don't think you can call them those rights, you know. So I get a hair. I just, uh, I just, you know what? I just keep quiet, mind my business, okay. do what I do. Yeah. But as long as if you're a woman and a lesbian, you always get a in South Africa. So are you saying that even the government of today uh, is not doing anything? Is not doing enough for the lesbian community, for the LGBTQI? How do you see it? Is the government giving you enough support, and also in terms of? The legislations is there a, a legislation that is actually protecting you now guys now your rights as lesbians now i'm gonna go back again to being a woman we are not protected as lesbians we are not protected as the lgbtiq plus community we are not protected in south africa those those rights they just they i think just to be fancy but we we are not protected mainly because of um when I go to the police station and say I was raped by another woman, they will laugh at me. Okay. They will be like, but you are lesbian, how can you be raped by, by another, another woman? woman. Yes, you understand? Yes, um, yes. Even with, with, with medical, with the hospitals and stuff, um, you get um, uh, uh, transgender uh, yes, people. Yes, yes, yes. It, it's a hassle mm -hmm. for them to, to get help. First, they have to be discriminated be looked at like they discussed it you understand second of all home affairs when transgender people have to go uh, i mean uh have they uh, identity uh, identity, identity uh, uh, change. documents yes. changed they have to wait for four years they have to wait for years in order to do that i mean we are not safe and government i don't think government is is, is doing the utmost for us i mean we still get killed and then in the future, uh, where do you see yourself? Uh, do you see yourself uh, uh, having a family or starting a family? Do you have a girl, a, a, a girlfriend currently? Like you said, I you have introduced your girlfriends to your mother before she passed on. Yeah. Right now, currently, are you dating someone? And then 
How is your relationship? Do you talk about children, you and your girlfriend, and all of those things? Well, I am seeing someone. Um, I would like to have kids uh, in the near future. Meaning, I can wake up tomorrow. Tomorrow, if I want to carry the baby, I'm allowed to. I'm a woman. I'm lesbian. Just because I'm lesbian, uh, society thinks that it's taboo for me to 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 to, to carry a child. This is my body, and I can do whatever I want with it. You see, so I am seeing someone, as I said, and in the new near future, I would love to have my own family. Um, that's if my partner that I am currently wants to have kids with me. Uh, Lauren, uh, it was very good man, to have you here today to talk to us about things that are so taboo to talk about, especially in the society. Even right now we are in the year of 2020, but still lesbians and transgenders, the LGBTQIA plus community is being treated unfairly, especially by the government, by the police, even in, hosp in hospitals, even in clinics. Lauren, uh, do you have any motivation or encouragement that you want to give to young lesbians out there? Well, uh, before I answer your question, uh, Narato, mm. um, this one is for the public at large out there. Mm. It's easier for a parent to hide an uncle that rapes their kids, a son that murders someone, than to accept a lesbian, a gay, transgender, bisexual person. Mm -hmm. And that needs to change. So words of encouragement, I would say um, be who you are, accept yourself, yes. love yourself, mm -hmm. Um, everything starts with yourself. Uh, don't let society pressurize you to come out. No, you need to come out to yourself first mm -hmm. before you can come out to the public. Um, give your um, family chance to, to accept, accept you because it, as much as you think it's difficult for you, it's as difficult for them as well. But stay true to yourself, accept yourself. Eventually, they shall accept you as well. Uh, as the EFF, do you think that we are doing enough? The initiative that we are we are we are we are taking us in right now, especially it's Women's Month. Talking to you, the LGBTQIA plus uh, community, making government aware about the trauma and everything that you are going through. Do you think us now, as the EFF, we are doing enough? Well, guys, vote EFF. Um, um, Thank you for um, giving me this opportunity um, to be a voice for the voiceless. Uh, at least through this interview, I can make a change. Um, I can make a change. Um, there's probably someone out there that I might touch or have encouraged to come out to their family. You understand? Uh, thank you, EFF members. Uh, thank you to, to you, Lerato, as well, for, for giving me this opportunity to, to speak on behalf of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, thanks a lot. Thank you very much, Lauren, for your warm uh, introduction and also for being here with us today. South Africans, uh, I think that it's time now for us to stand up and also to support the LGBTQIA plus community. The government of the day is not doing enough. That is why we are doing this as the EFF. We are currently in, in the year 2020, but still the things that are happening is like we are in the dark ages. The stigma is there, the, the, the lesbians, they are afraid to come out, they can't work in streets, hand in hand, the, the transgenders, they are not getting enough support also in the hospitals, in the clinic and also in the government. So what are we saying as South Africans, Do you are we saying that the LGBTQIA plus community must go to the street and march or maybe protest because of Whenever the community is protesting, that is when the government is making something out of it. So as South Africans, we are saying that as the EFF, we are going to stand 
for these people and then we are going to fight that the government of the day must hear the people of the LGBTQIB. When we transfer this to what should the government do, um, let's look at COVID-19 right now. What the government has done is here's a disaster. We need to step up and we need to act. But when it comes to violence in this country, the government wants to set up a task team. They want to have a policy meeting. There is no critical understanding that violence in South Africa is a disaster and should be declared a disaster. So when we look at how alcohol, for example, plays a role in, re in relation to murder, death, injuries, and disabilities in this country, we know that a large majority of LGBTI persons who are murdered are murdered by people who have high levels of intoxication, for example, for unregulated tavern, bars, pubs, etc. So there's a high linkage to what causes harm, violence um, within our society. When we look at violence on women's bodies, it's the same factors. So we have to ask ourselves, what is it that our own government is not getting about the extent and degree of the murder rate and violence in our society? Because it's, as I said, it's one thing you can have a belief and an opinion and it's yours and it's, if it's offensive, keep it to yourself. However, when that belief is translated to violence and murder, it's a problem and in the current state of South Africa, we have a massive problem around violence and murder, and there are a number of interlinked issues around that. So I think it's about how we, how we intervene, how we break the understanding that violence shouldn't be normative, um, that there should be stronger measures in place. Um, you know, I, I do believe that there's a, a, a massive gap in relation to inequality and poverty. So the solution is not necessarily criminalizing people and putting them in jails if they are homophobic and transphobic. I think it's around economic redress, it's around poverty alleviation, um, and being able to create spaces where people can socialize in a way that this common understanding and that diversity is respected. Yeah, yeah, now we are going to talk to Rezali Litsapa, uh, Rezali is a very beautiful transgender woman. Rezali, can you briefly explain to us about yourself? Okay, Rato. I am Rezali Litsapa. I am from Kimbali. I am 31 years old. I am a mother of my mother. I am a teacher in the Pime Primary School. I am a teacher. Retire les secondaires school. Kafel sa mo pato wa kiri twelve. Kamwa kwa two thousand and nine. Kiri kuhusu sisi kwa kio mama mi anu kedula le malume wa kala msaadi wa kala lidi kuholota oni. Okay, Rajeli, when did you realize that you are different? You realize that you are not gender. You are not gender. Okay, Rato, Anna. Ya kaki kudi leki le mumi yani, kwenye chola kiki kisala kwe kimo kampani ya basi zani yana tata, kwa nini kisala tata kile mo twelten za basi zani yana, zaho re kile twelten za basi mani yana, enchape kwenye kirata yala mama kaka aseyo, kwenye kirata kwa chama kwa kadi wifi za kare. Kiki chala kicha kicha sadi lipsticki kia para moseso wakare yele ena asio. Can you briefly now explain to us what does it mean to be a transgender woman? Okay, rato a transgender woman is a woman who is trapped in a male's body. Then the woman goes through sexual reassignment surgery or they take hormonal replacement therapy to be identified as the gender they see them, themselves as. And then they, now, they, can you take us through your transition journey? Can you take us through now, on this journey of yours now? Mm -hmm. Okay, Rato, uh, before Kika Tsumula journey, uh, can you from gender dysphoria? 
gender dysphoria ke mo e leng gore ke ne ke phula uncomfortable ka my physical appearance ke ne ke se happy ke ne suffer from depression me ke ne ka tsa decision ya gore ke tlhoka thusho ya gore in order gore ke sa khomata suicide me ke ne ka kopana le doctor e bidiwang a psychologist psychologist ke dokta e ni ntusa gore ke amgele se nna ke leng shone e e gore ke ithate ya ka ka kentse le gore ke ithate ka mo mmeleng o ke leng mo go one e go tswa mo wa ke ke kopana le dokta o mongwe o leng a psychiatrist e psychiatrist e ne ke dokta o leng gore wa confirm a gore wa you are suffering from gender dysphoria ke ene o dirang le kwal ko le le yang ku Bloemfontein University Hospital ke lona le le confirmang gore o tshwanetse o ne mo dipeleng tsa hormonal replacement therapy because you are you are suffering from gender dysphoria okay ra to na gore ke itla ku Bloemfontein eh ke tsoga ka faife eh bo half past five ke bile tla ku hospital ya Robert Mangaliso hospital ke mo e leng gore re emetse transport ya lona e ke gore e sang Bloemfontein me a na go re tsama ka yone ke ka bo nna e me tloko e go tswa bo nna e tloke wa gatsa mare ya Bloemfontein en ela re tla go Bloemfontein a santla ke go santla ke gore a ke go bana le doctor o bidong endocrinologist okay e ke boa segue boa ne ene le chone ke mora go re ga ke rateng ya no depi ka eng in terms of depi la tsekini no ang tseno tse after doctor ke no ta decide go re au to usa dosage ya ka o ya e and then e wa ile go doctor o agree le doctor o na o ntira la prescription ke ke ra prescription ya ka ke ya ko pharmacy ka go tsa dipela tsa ka go tswa mo wa ke ya ko waiting list ko waiting room e ile go 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 dula di patient te di patient se tenye fo gore ba trotse wa ke di transport tsa tsa bone gore ba e go di different locations tsa bone and then uh, uh, what are the hormonal effects ne tsa 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 therapy e ile gore o mo go yone right now okay, okay rato a uh, di effect tsa primary ni ke gore o na moody wa lela you are going through depression eh en khape le gore o dula o le nar wa bana you keep yourself distance because you must remember go di pela tsewa da bereka mo mileng wa ga your body is going through changes okay and then how safe is the primary in eng gore right now wa tsaya wena e safe ka 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 bo kai e safe jang e tla no setse e okay ra to a primary ni e se ke la outsa dosages between 1 to 25 mg up to 2.25 mg ela ga go ne go ya higher than dose e wa like agi direct example like go go khona go tsa maybe 10 to 5 mg e 10 to 5 mg ke dose e leng go e kuru dimu and ke dose e le go reng ga 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 tsona go itsa go ne ka di transgender woman ka go ne primary na ke pela e leng gore e toxic ke pela e leng gore e dirole ka moroto wa wa pitsi en gape bothata ke gore a primary ni ke pela e leng gore a mo go mo mo di pela ntse go na le di ingredients tse leng tse tse leng gore a go na le only 8 at 8 ingredients tse di dirolang for the pitsi e seng fa batho o motho wa mosadi ba mo di pelang tsa gona le only ela two active hormones tse di dirotseng fa motho wa mosadi so primary is not safe at all exactly rato but though there is another alternative uh hormonal replacement therapy there are three ways of taking estrogen is either you take them rectally or sublingually or orally for for you in order to have beautiful results 
Uh, how long are you supposed to be on hormonal therapy in order for you to fully transition? Okay, but, uh, in order for you to fully transition, you must be on hormonal replacement therapy for the rest of your life. Take for example, like ARVs. You must be on ARVs for the rest of your life. Yes. So, uh, do you think that 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 uh, the government itself is it doing enough for 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 the transgender woman? Can you just uh, briefly explain to us: Is government doing enough? Government here or not? Yeah, no. Echering, ele yamu South Africa. It I dira di lo zilungo re di 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 ali two saka na kolo kona kukra songo le songe kana ko. Okay, rato na government here or not? Eke bona ni aku mpyo ni yana. Eke bona ni re two sasepe. Jaka rona bato ba lindi transgender. Sheba ya no, ba bona kore primerini, itira inye mo, mo batu ba lindi basadi, en ba bona kore primerini e, ke kualti mo, di pitim, ma stiet government e, ya rona ya kumpijone, e rena di pela tsewa, anlai kore barene di pela, di pela tsewa, tsewa ilon kore di seifi fo rona, jaka bo estro fo ma yana. E government e rona na yaka ke bona kore khaye warili, bato ba lindi transgender, Bonne barre n'a la barre n'a t'a la cadi pela elana. Bonne even do bonne habit sur de pela toi de tirer sur ka ini. Bonne barre sapla la cadi pela tiwa. So government y a on a compine à qui bonne roue et retourna mouchoula. Cassi. O bonne roue et gagne ses chances ici de roue et chrono roule et chola mouchoul. Na qui bonne roue et le roue government a on a et chance et et le loin et le roue et à cabassa de bailing de transgender. Pense au monde. Hormonal replacement therapy is the primary one. But it's not going to be effective for you. It's going to be a transgender person. But it's going to be a strong person. And it's going to be a state hospital. It's going to be a strong person. And it's going to be a doctor. It's going to be a doctor. It's going to be a doctor. It's going to be a state hospital. Unlike for the avoid the matter that will require money more, they both do work while money more than the hospital aid. Tell the money now, don't tell them for the record. Now, don't tell them for money. Let them have their own. Buy them for the bar. Read the bill. Let them have their own. Let them protect. Take a bath and do. But when it comes to the LGBTQIA plus community, we are always chasing them away like dogs. Let us stop. Poisoning our transgender men and women by feeding them with toxic hormones. They are valid, they exist, they belong. We cannot wish them away. They are here to stay. Womandra. Tina Bantu. Ah.